dos, tres. Ok. back for another great episode this is episode five season one of vape talks with the ghost and if you haven't been familiar if you're just now hearing about it or if somebody's told you about it or if you're curious to see we talk about the stuff that they don't talk about on most podcasts that's what makes this show a lot different we actually talk about things that happen the elephant in the room and the things that that goes along in the neighborhoods and the communities and the families that are not really normally talked about um, on other broadcasts because it's always about entertainment. It's all about the industry. It's all about, um, you know, the hype. We like to get into the nitty gritty. We like to get into the stuff that most people want to talk about or that they talk about in the barbershops or that they talk about in the beauty salons. We talk about that right here on Vape Talks with the Ghost. And I couldn't do it without having some of the best people that can relate and that are as down to earth. On this show, we talk shit. We keep it a hundred. We keep it a buck. So there's no holdbacks. There's no filters. We talk what the hell we feel. And we're not always going to agree on a lot of things. We got a lot of different episodes that's going to be coming up that's going to be serious. Because we're doing the nice ones. I like to kind of do the funny ones, the good ones. But then also I'm going to get into them ones that kind of irritate people. You know, the good hair, bad hair thing, the colorism, the racism. Uh, we'll get into a lot of those things in this season. But without further ado, I'm going to introduce, introduce the guests that I got on today, which are, are um, some great, great people. Uh, one being my sister, one being my bro, you know, and, and great, great uh, people just in general. And that are very familiar with these topics that we're going to talk about. So I'm going to go to my right, to my sis first, and let her introduce herself. Where you at, sis? Where you coming from? <laughs> Tell us what you're about. What's your name? What platforms do you got that you want to put out that you want people to follow, et cetera? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is um well Kashana, you know, my what I go by like K Boogie for my nickname. And okay. I'm from Chicago, the Shy Town. Hey. And um yeah, that's really it. Cause I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like all the right. whole cool. social media stuff is overrated and all that. So true, but true, true. I'm true. happy to be on the podcast. We're happy to have you. Hey. Happy to have you. Definitely happy to have you, man. That's good to see you back yeah. on again, looking good, yeah. doing good things. My man to yes, the right, introduce yourself, brother. Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Ben, but I go as B. I'm from Kenya, but I'm in Doha, and I'm happy to be here on this podcast. So, you know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. My man, my man. Salute to the both of y'all. Salute to the both of y'all. Yes. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, I like to have y'all on here um, every time and as much as, uh, as as possible because I love how you guys talk and we just have a good combo, man. This is like sitting up in a barbershop. But um, without further more to do, let's get into the sticky, icky, icky. And today's topic is, is there a path for snitching? Why can some do it and others can't? So um, I just... This is a this is a topic that I really that I really like to talk about because it's like yo I see too many potholes in this in this topic you know um, first off we go, we need to break down who is first of all okay let's break down this let's break down this what is snitching what is technically snitching because we got a street code of snitching uh, and then we got a civilian code of snitching are those two similar is it the same um, I'll give my take and then I'm going to give the room to y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, for me, I feel like 
I feel like there's I feel like essentially snitching is the same across the board. Let's just let's just say that in my opinion. Snitching is when you tell on somebody. Right? So it we learn that shit in in like preschool kindergarten, right? Where they're like tattletale, right? They tell you don't tattletale on your classmates. Uh and some people want you to tattletale. Hey, go tell. And we always had that that classmate or we always had that little fucking annoying prick that if you try to sneak and eat candy in the class, they were like, hey, teacher, uh, he's eating candy yeah. in the class, you know? It's yeah. snitching, right? So, yeah. so, so you start off at that level and then you get to the level where it's like, I'm stealing candy out of the store as a teenager and that same fucking kid runs to the cops and they're like, hey, he's stealing. He's stealing candy out of the store. So to me, that's no different than the street code where the street code is like, okay, I committed a crime and somebody then goes and snitches on me to the officials or they're picked up by the police. And guess what? They start running their mouth about what they saw because they don't want to do no fucking jail time. So they start snitching. Um, I feel like those two are the same. It's like, it's, it's, it's when you ask what is snitching, that's snitching. Tattle, telling, tattle telling or telling on somebody. What do y'all think? What is snitching to you? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so, okay, all right. So yes, yeah, so um snitching to me is <laughs> basically <laughs> like what you say. Mm -hmm. it, it's like um there's a good snitching and then the bad snitching. And mm -hmm. to me, the good snitching would be for me if you're telling like, okay, somebody got shot or killed, so now you're gonna tell on who did it. That's good to me because it's like, okay, we need to catch that killer so that they don't do it again or, you know what I'm saying, this mm -hmm. and that. But I feel like, like what you say, in our community especially, like snitching is looked at like, oh, you know, oh, mm -hmm. it's a bad thing. Like, I don't care if it's, if they killed my brother or my mother, I'm still not going to tell because, you know, like, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to talk to the law. And mm -hmm. they just made everything look so bad, like all the positive they made it look so, you know, like negative, like it's something bad. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think so. And then, like you say, it can be a snitching, like overdoing it. Like, okay, <laughs> you know, now you over, <laughs> you tell it, you trying to oh. tell, like, you know what I'm saying? Like at work, we got the yeah. parents that try to you walk came in up, late you know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. Like, oh, she oh, wasn't oh. in the late. Right, exactly. Or, oh, she wasn't back on break, like you say, at this time, like she went over uh -huh. 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> That's yeah. like, no, you don't need to do that, you know? But yeah. So that's but my But snitching is essentially telling. Sn snitching is telling on somebody, right? Exactly. right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you yeah. think, Vidot? What is snitching for you? I think snitching is also what you just said is telling on somebody, you know? But yeah. essentially, whether it's civilian or it's a street code, it's all the same. You feel like, right. in the black community, let's say, like, Really it's really found upon, it's just innocent. It's really found upon. There's no snitches get stitches. That's what everybody grew up on. Snitches get stitches. But yeah, yeah. It's really tricky. You have a loophole. Like, where do you draw the line? Like, if I come up to your house and you're right. so, you're, you're shorty, and I show up, and your best friend saw him, but in the call of snitching, mm -hmm. you don't you know, you tell him. So, where do you cross the line? You know? It's a tricky situation. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah. So okay, so then I, I agree. So, okay, so let's so we all say that snitching is the same thing then, right? Snitching yeah. is, yeah. is snitching is, is basic snitching is basically when you're telling on somebody, right? So if yeah, you tell on somebody yeah. and and they're and and, and at any at any moment when you tell on somebody else, you are essentially snitching on them, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, oh. When we say that now, so okay, so now we got to break down the guidelines of this shit though, because this is where it gets sticky. So, why is it a pass for some people to snitch, and why isn't it? So that's where we're gonna break down the nitty gritty, because we already established mm -hmm. snitching is the same fucking worldwide. Um, my man is from Kenya. We are from Chicago. Yes. It does yep. not matter where you yeah. at a part of the fucking globe. If you still the same name, still the fucking same. You're telling on somebody. Now, yeah. since we got that, 
established. You're telling yeah. regardless. Now we have to break down the weeds of when it's acceptable and when it's not, or should it not be acceptable at all, or should it be accepted? So my take on it is me being a, a, a prior criminal at one part of my life. <laughs> at, one, at one part of my life, I was a criminal, man. So, you know, I know, I know about, I know about this street code sense, right? So the street, the street code sense is like, the street code's like, okay, look, you can't snitch on anything. Okay. Now, most fucker, most people in gangs, most people in mobs go do the history. Everybody in those organizations has snitched, yeah. right? They have told on somebody. So this is where I say, I don't understand the giving a pass to some people. Cause for example, like you take a Frank Lucas, right? Traffic, all the fucking drugs was over the mob. Right. This is the Denzel movie that they, they read did the American gangster. That was Frank Lucas. Right. So this guy's this guys getting all his drugs and shit. But then he turns around, he gets pinched. And at the end of the day, he starts snitching on all the cops, starts telling them all the cops. Does that make him a snitch? still? if he told on the cops and not on his counterparts, is he a snitch or not? What do you, what do y'all think? Yeah, he's, he's a snitch. Uh, he's a snitch. Yeah, because he fucking told him, right. Yeah. It's no switch. So he why the fuck does he get a why do Huh? What it doesn't you? have to be like that. I think whether it's your friend, whether it's your homie, whether it's your mother, whether it's your enemy, whether it's your aunt, you don't have to cross that line and snitch. The code of privacy and even people you hate. To me personally, that's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So wait, so wait, so wait. y'all think that so so y'all think that you should be you should snitch on anybody? What or, or does it matter? You should still snitch on them. So okay, let well, me. No, I right, don't like that. Please, see, this is where it gets sticky. This is where it fucking gets sticky. Yeah, because get guess what? There, there's, there's, this, there's this line, right? It's so levels. Epidemic, it's levels, right? Because there's this yeah. criminal world where it's like me and my homie are both bank robbers, right? So we go yeah. in there and rob a fucking bank. But I get caught. They and go they and, and ask him who the fuck was robbing the bank. You had to know him because you were there. We got all the evidence. Yeah. We know yeah. it was you. We know that yeah. you saw it. Who do you a snitch on me and rat me out, or b no. do you do you keep your mouth shut and say you don't know nothing and get thirty fucking years in jail? Right. Yeah, you keep your mouth shut. It depends on it. For me, it depends on your like you say. It's a level. So if it's somebody who I was like real close to, like, like you say, my brother, my family, my sister, something like that and uh -huh. say, okay, you know, or even my kids, you know, like they get older, God forbid, but say they get older, they would do something and mm -hmm. something like that. No, I'm not going to snitch on them. Of course not, because that's, you know, blood or we real close. So yeah. no, you know, I'd rather yeah. just take that charge because you're going to get charged anyways. So you might as well, you know what I'm saying? Take so, that here's charge a, this. so here's a scenario for you. You are, you are facing 30 fucking years in jail. You're facing 30 years in jail. Um, Your best friend, you didn't have nothing to do with it, right? But they come to you and they're like, now check this out. This is because we already said there's criminal shit, right? So with criminal shit, you're both doing criminal things together. That's what right. most gangs, most mobs, they're all doing something together. So it makes sense. It's like, Okay, I can't tell on you. You're not supposed to tell me. That's the code because we're all fucking yeah. criminals. But what about what about what about this one? Check this out. Now we know family. We know best friends. That gets sticky too because it's like I don't want to snitch. I'm not going to snitch on my family member. If you get caught doing something and they're going to hem your ass up because you're my sister, I'm gonna go ahead and do that time due to the yeah. fact that I know that you know I'm older. I've lived my life. Blah blah blah. Whatever. I'm gonna yeah. cover down. Yeah. But what about the motherfucker that you don't know? What about the random dude next door that's kidnapping motherfuckers and, and they're doing illegal shit? You see it. Do you, A, report it to the cops or do you allow it to keep happening? You report it to the cops. Yeah, this is where it gets. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is where it gets fucking sticky, man. Because, oh, no. this, cause, cause, listen, cause, oh. if you tell, we we already established, if you snitch, you snitch. 
Now, we all know about those people in the neighborhood that sees shit going on all the time. And guess what? They don't never tell. No. If the police come and say something. Remember, Jeffrey Dahmer had like fucking 30 bodies over there. He was fucking up and chopping up and shit. And there Whoa. were some people that just didn't give a Whoa. shit. It wasn't them getting chopped up, right? Yeah, because they, they was going by this yeah. code of not telling the police. What do y'all think? Yeah. What about the neighbor? That's, do you A, oh. tell on them? Or do you oh. keep your mouth shut? And why? See for me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go first real quick, and then y'all expound. See for me, oh, yeah, yeah. like we said, there's levels, right? So yeah. in the criminal world, in criminal world, I was never a snitch. I did a lot of different shit, and I got caught. Um, a lot of people know me from high school, right? I got expelled yeah. out of fucking high school selling weed. And I can talk about this shit now because it's in the past or whatever. Nobody come back and lock me up for the shit. Actually, I'd already gotten in trouble. But I'm selling weed, right? So I'm with my boys. I'm not name dropping shit, right? And we'll talk about that too. What about the name droppers? Is that not snitching? Is not going on VLAD talking about what your homies did and naming them by name? Is that not snitching? You know, we're going to get into that, too. We got a whole hour to get into this thing. We got a whole hour to get in this thing. But for the early minutes of it, I want to say this. So there's criminal, right? I had I had the option. I could have snitched on all those niggas selling drugs in, in my high school. I chose the route of eating it like a boss, going the fuck to my alternative school, and doing what the fuck I had to do. So guess what? In the streets, nobody fucked with me. I didn't have people in the streets looking for me. Yo, you and I, listen, I was getting fucking heavy weed. I was getting heavy weed. I had fucking dub sacks this fucking big. I was doing my thing. But, what? um, and I was only selling weed. I was not selling any cocaine or none of that shit. I'm not, I'm not profess- uh, proclaiming to be fucking Pablo Escobar or nobody. But I did have good weed that I was selling in high school. So yeah. when they caught me, they asked me, they asked me, give me the names of the people that's doing it and we, we won't expel you. We'll just suspend you. That's it. I told them no, but check it out. Somebody snitched on me though. A kid that was under pressure snitched on me, which is why I got I got expelled. So I could have took revenge and I could have snitched on that guy who snitched on me, right? But I was in the criminal world. So I was like, no, it, you don't snitch. You take your time, you take your punishment, you eat it like a boss, and you leave. But now I'm a civilian. So it gets sticky now. I'm a civilian. So I still don't snitch on a lot of shit, but I will snitch on some shit that's wrong in my community. If there's a motherfucker that's kidnapping people and shit, I'm snitching on his ass. Because if well, he's kidnapping hey. motherfuckers and, and he's taking them over there, who knows what he'll do to, to my fucking place, to somebody that's coming to see me and kidnap their ass. So I'm snitching. Um, if, if, if I put it to some type of situation, because um, it's a civilians. So I think civilians shouldn't be going by that dumbass code. Civilians shouldn't go by a code of don't snitch because you just fucking up your community. Your community is full of rapists, uh, murderers, uh, all type of motherfuckers, and you not telling. I do hear this though. I hear that if you tell, the cops will then tell them that you told, and now you got to now you got a fucking problem. Yeah, see, that because- ain't just spicy. Yeah, ain't so. Oh, man. What do y'all yeah. think? What do you, is it as a civilian? Does that give you the right to snitch and and not and not care? Should you still care? Should say you are you are a you, we all street motherfuckers. All of us here are street motherfuckers, right? So let's yeah. now that we're civilians, now that we're normal citizens, should we snitch or should we keep our mouths shut all the way? Because the law, the law is you do not snitch, even if a motherfucker kills your fucking best friend, motherfucker kills your family member, motherfucker kills your. Think about that. This is street code, right? This is how fucked up the street code shit is, right? Even if a Fuck motherfucker up. kills a family member, you cannot snitch. So do you snitch or what? As a citizen, not a criminal, oh, do you snitch? <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, for me, <clears throat> it's like five different levels to this. It's like, it's, it's too much. It's five different oh, levels because yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can, you like you said, you can... For one, you can snitch like I was watching a movie. The girl end up telling um, onto the male or whatever. They wanted her to take the stand. So, of course, they're going to then it's going to see her face. And she right. tried to tell him, like, no, I don't want to take the stand. 
because mm-hmm. I don't want yeah. him, you know what I'm saying, coming back to me. Mm-hmm. And then the police is like, no, you have to do it. We're going to put you under protective uh, services mm-hmm. and all this when you're done. That was mm-hmm. a lie. They saw her. She did it because then they said, oh, if you don't do it, then then he's not going to get caught, da, da, da. So mm-hmm. she went ahead. She took the stand, <clears throat> told on him or whatever like that, that he was, like you say, raping and killing girls and stuff like that and, and this and that. And then he tried to do it to her almost, but she got mm-hmm. away. But then it's like, okay, now he saw her face and then he was able to, you know what I'm saying, come back. Like once he was done doing his time and all that stuff, mm-hmm. he never forgot it. Like he kept it in his mind. And you can put a hit out, you know, so he ended up putting a hit out on her and everything else. So it's like a catch four with that. Just like if you walk in and you see somebody, something happening, it's yep. so scary nowadays. You don't know if they lying, if they tell the <laughs> truth, like you don't know if it's a setup to go mm-hmm. towards you. Like you never know, you know what yep. I'm saying? Yep. So that's why some people won't say nothing too. They just mind their business because, hey, it could be a kidnapping scheme going towards you. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's a whole bunch of different stuff but at the end of the day i stick to i believe that yes if you see something wrong yes you should tell you know what i'm saying like i i don't care i would you know what i'm saying tell if if somebody's doing something just like at work if i yeah. feel like somebody's abusing you know what i'm saying some of my <clears throat> like because i oh you know i work with the elderly so if somebody if i think that they're abusing you know what i'm saying one of the elders Yes, yep. I am going to snitch and I'm going to tell and I don't care what happens afterwards. You know what I'm saying? But bosses and people right will there. be messy and they will say, you know what I'm saying? Oh, such and such, yeah. such told us, you know, which is like, that's bogus. Why are you yeah. saying my name? Which I had that happen to me. And then the lady <laughs> tried to come up and say, oh, you know, you telling them this and that and that. Wow. And I'm like, hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, yeah. I don't care. You know, yeah, I told yeah. and what, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I believe now, like I said, if you all involved into that gang stuff and all that, yeah. and you're not supposed to snitch on one another, we brothers this and that, and you come in like that, then yeah, yeah you shouldn't tell. Like, if you know your brother did this or that, then no. Like, nah, don't yep. tell them. Just go ahead and take that charge, even yep. if it's 40 years. But like yep. you say, you got Gunner who in tow, you got 69 who in tow, yeah. and all that other stuff. And it's just like, okay, but then they getting away with it. So it's like, hey, like, so what? Why, so, so why do you think it was okay? <laughs> For Gunna and Six Nine to to snitch and okay, well, first of all, do you think it? Do you think they got a pass for snitching? Do you think they yeah. got a pass? Yeah, why, they they a lot. why? Right. Why do you think they got a pass? That's I'll let you answer this one. You guys. Why? Okay, so okay. so so I think that I think that these situations, like you said, definitely levels. Be that. What do, what do, what do you think as far as the is, is there a difference between civilian snitching or and, and and criminal snitching, or is it all the same? Should the criminals uphold their standards, or what? How do you, what do you think about that? I think, as we said before, there is a difference between civilian and civil. Yeah, when it comes to the civilian stuff, like the other day, some shit happened at work. And my homie, my co-worker was like responsible for that shit. And I was like, a big deal. It was like, a big deal. And I was like, you can't do me what that no, but you can. You can't do that because I'm not that type of person. But when you talk Uh-oh. to the street you shit, freezing up a little bit. different codes apply to that <laughs> stuff, you know? We'll, we'll get back to him, but he froze up a little. Oh, you froze, you froze up a little bit. What, what happened? <laughs> I was telling you that I was like, I'm like, I'm like, at lunch, there was an incident when my home came to me. So, I don't know, that's literally to the boss. I was like, I can't do that because I'm not a person. But yeah. when it comes to the streets, though, there's a different code because you're, this is, this is your life. This is, if you snitch on, if you snitch on somebody in the street code, you lose your life, basically. Or some shit yeah. is going to happen to those close people around you, you know what I mean? And right. When it gets tricky, though, is not everybody's gonna follow the same rules. Not everybody's gonna follow the same code. You feel me? Like, yeah. If I if I can give you the story, like, because of yeah. the punishment, everybody yeah. thinks it's cool. Who you facing thirty fucking years for a nigga that you exactly. really ain't that? Good. <laughs> exactly. For a nigga that you really ain't that good. And you facing Yo. thirty fucking years. Yo, you gonna be smiling? Yeah. I said, 
You're yeah. going to be smiling with that nigga and you saying, no, we love each other. Oh, you're my friend, you're my homie. But when that nigga takes that stand, bro, that's when you see the real people. When he takes yeah. that stand, oh, my days, bro. Thank God. So I, yeah. so I, I think I, I, I agree with both of y'all for sure on that. And, and I really like, I really want to expound and, and then we're going to get into self snitching and all this other <laughs> shit. Right. But I want to touch back on, like you said, that it's levels. Right. So I feel like yeah. as a civilian, you don't have these fucking rules to go by. You can snitch and yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. Exactly. You are not obligated yeah. to that code. I feel like when you're in the streets, you have to abide by this code. I don't right. care if the exactly. people that's in your organization fucked you over because we take it like we take yeah. like Sean Gotti, right? He was he yeah. had his hitman, he had his hitman, uh, Sammy the Bull. Sammy the Bull <laughs> was his right hand man, killing motherfuckers yeah. left and right with this dude, right? But right. then he did John Gotti did some snaky shit to him before he took the stand. So he felt like, oh, you want to fuck me over? I'm going to fuck you. And he got on the stage and snitched. So I feel like when you're in the street, uh, the street life, you have to eat the bullet. Like you said, yeah. regardless. you got to yeah. eat the bullet because exactly. that is the shit that yeah. you signed the paper for. But yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like number one, and I, I hate when people say this shit too, like, oh, back in the day, we wouldn't have did that. Yeah. Back in the day, y'all was snitching y'all asses off. Look yeah. at every drug dealer that was busted back. They all snitched. Okay, so this is nothing new. So I hate when people try to compare the errors. Like our error is so fucked up. Like we're snitching and ratting, and an error back then didn't snitch. Yeah, they did. They all yeah. fucking snitched. when they just even if they snitch, even Pablo Escobar, he snitched. He snitched yeah. on the uh, the guy that was a homosexual that was a part of their organization that they didn't like, and he snitched on him to get thrown the fuck out. Yeah, that dude got Chicago. Look it up. Yes. That dude got locked up, still serving life. Oh. Pablo Escobar dead and gone. That nigga's still in jail. Yeah. Because, well, because yeah. Pablo... Yeah. So, so, so snitching has always been a part. But I feel like this. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like... The reason why... I say, okay, so now we'll go into the rap shit, right? The reason why I told that story was because mm -hmm. that kind of relates to 6 9 a little bit in his situation, yeah. right? So yeah. you take a guy who... Who was a street? Well, he's not a street guy to begin with, right? So he joined the organization to get the clout, and then he had to actually join the game. He was—he actually was a, a trade. He was a blood. He was a—he um, was a trade. Uh, I can't remember that—that—that that, that actual uh, organization, uh -huh. Trey Ways or some shit, Trey something. But he, oh, had, yeah. he, he was a set from the Bloods in New York, right? So, so he had to join the organization. He had to put in a little bit of work, and. On top of that, then he started finding out that these guys was ratting on him. I mean, these guys were fucking his baby mama, right? And smiling up in his face, but they was fucking his baby mama. They were smiling up in his face, and they set him up. They even tried to set the guy up to get his ass robbed. Actually, they did rob him. Remember that time he got his chain and all that shit snatched? That was from internal. That was from his own clique. Now, question to y'all. If you are in a situation, you're with a group, you're in a criminal world. Again, this is criminal. Now, I want two. I want. I want two answers on this. I want an answer on or, or opinion, not an answer. I want your opinion on two things. I want it on one. In the criminal world, if somebody snitches on you, should you retaliate? As far as snitching back. Now, meaning they didn't snitch on you though, but they did some foul shit. Like your homegirl turns around and fucks your boyfriend. Should you then snitch on her? And, and when you get caught doing something wrong. Or should you still abide the law and and just get her back another way? What what do you think on that? Get back another way, because if you in the thing of no snitching, then it's no snitching. Period. Now, if you go exactly. back and f her, her uh, boyfriends or her exes or whatever, just like you know, what I'm saying doing it like that way or something like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I agree 100. percent If in my case, in my in my opinion, six nine should have just Got out of jail. He got fucking money, dude. I would have just got the fuck yeah. out of jail. I would have did my time or whatever. And then yeah. I would have jail and I would have paid to get those motherfuckers beat the fuck up or yeah. whack the hell you need yeah. to do. Yeah. I would I would have not snitched on everybody no. like how he did. And then he even snitched on motherfuckers that didn't even have shit to do with it. He snitched yeah, on that's what I was gonna say. He snitched on a whole bunch of motherfuckers, right? Yeah. So, so much and everything else. 
21 Savage. So my question then, in this case, in 6 ix case, why was he able to snitch and then come back out into public and, and still be able to walk around? This rule exactly. is still big in the streets, right? It's yeah. still about, oh, if you snitch, snitch what, what did my man B. Dot say earlier? He said snitches yeah. get stitches. Where the fuck is his exactly. stitches? <laughs> and that's the thing that uh, when 6 9 came out, uh, when he came out of jail, and everybody was like, oh, so the shit code doesn't apply now, does it? He's still alive, he's still not touched, except the time he got jumped, though. You feel me? Like, exactly. Yeah. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Yeah. And it I don't think those sense. niggas jumped him for no uh, snitching. Them niggas jumped him for no. clout. They just jumped yeah. him for, for clout to say, I beat up a rapper. What? It's nine. He's one of the most hated motherfuckers. So guess what? Put hands on him. Or, or it could have been some personal shit because I think it was all a publicity stunt because why is this nigga in Go's gym? He ain't no bodybuilder. This nigga six, yeah. what the fuck is 6 9 doing in a fucking uh, Go's gym? This, he, he's rich. Yeah. He could have a gym in his house. <laughs> he could have a gym in his house with a personal trainer. Why the fuck is yeah. 6 9 walking around to fucking Go's gym? This is a publicity stunt. Those yeah. are his homies. Oh, you get that shit for clout, dude. Who yeah. the fuck is going to, why is 6 9 in Gold's gym? This nigga that never lift a weight in his life. <laughs> why is he in <laughs> You know, what's the fuck is publicity stuff? What about Gunner? What's the, difference? what's the difference between, okay, so 6 9 said that he snitched because it was a personal attack, basically. He said that he had the right because at this time it was no longer about having loyalty to an organization who set you up, who fucked your baby mama, who did all of that. It was no longer a um it was no longer an obligation. He felt as though, fuck mm. that, you did me wrong. So now asses is all out. I'm I'm snitching on all you motherfuckers. And so what uh, makes him different? if you come in that's why it's like if you come in and you already know like the rules of this and then you can't come in and then say oh now he did this now I'm gonna switch it up switch, mm -hmm. switch it. you know what yeah. I'm saying like mm -hmm. I don't think you should do that you know like I said like what yeah. you said it's a lot of other stuff that you could have did to them you know what I'm saying then yeah. to to get your get back rather than coming in like we should start now I'm gonna snitch on everyone and now I'm gonna tell because like you said 21 Savage didn't do nothing to him and he he told on him and I'm everything sure. else so it's like Cardi, Cardi he got away with it. Yep. And, yeah. and then, yeah. and then, like I said, saying we're gonna, he ain't got away with it. You know what I'm saying? He just getting called a rat, and that's it. But it's like, okay. But then you so got other think, people who died. He, from it. So let me ask you though: Have did gonna snitch? <laughs> in your opinion, did he snitch? Because yeah. there's this, there's, there's this hemisphere out there about that he yeah. didn't really snitch, that he his lawyer set him up and he didn't really snitch. Do you think he snitched? I did think gonna personally. Have, yeah, he did snitch. In my personal opinion, he did snitch. I saw the clip, yeah. uh, was it? In the courtroom, you know? He was in the courtroom. Yeah. He was there. His wife said again, he said, yes. You snitching, mm. bro. You snitching. Yeah. Straight fast. And yeah, he bro. got out earlier. So that says yeah, it right yeah. there, because Young Dog is still in jail. And he's still out. in there. Yeah. So for all of y'all out there that's listening that don't know about the court of law, see, I should have been a fucking lawyer, because, you know, I know all this <laughs> About it. Yeah, yeah. About it. Yeah. Out listening that, that don't know what we're talking about right now when we say he was in the courtroom and he admitted that YSL was a gang that was the snitching portion and why we say that was the snitching yeah. portion because if they're fucking asking you they don't know yeah. get yeah. this they don't, know. Fucking head out. they don't fucking know uh. because listen I learned this shit a long time ago during my criminal um, adventures if they call you in and say, hey, what happened? Do you know these question mark questions? That they means don't. they don't fucking know or they don't have the evidence. They have an idea. They think, but they don't have the evidence. Because believe me, if they do, they're just going to lock your ass up. What the fuck are they going to ask yeah. you about? They don't need to they ask you. They know. But yeah. if they're asking you guys, they fucking don't know for sure or they don't have the evidence. So in this case... Yeah. Young uh, Gunner snitched because he ended up admitting that that YSL rap group, and this is big. 
This is fucking big. Y'all don't, a lot of people don't understand the law, so they don't know how huge this was. This is huge yeah. because think about it. If I'm trying to say that you two are a part of a gang, but y'all are saying that y'all working at this nursing home and y'all just doing y'all normal shit. But yeah. I say, no, 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 no. You, y'all are, y'all are a gang that's in there trafficking drugs in this fucking nursing home and using that as a front. But yeah. then you got another member that's with y'all and they come in and I ask, hey, is that nursing home really a nursing home or is it actually a fucking drug organization? And that person says, yes, it is a drug fucking organization. Boom! I got you to it. I got you to. Because this, this motherfucker just admit it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna talk to I didn't know my Bye. lawyer said no. Man, you didn't want to do that time. I told you, the time comes when they say 30 years. He didn't want to keep eating them ramen noodles in that motherfucker. He want that yeah. steak. <laughs> he want that steak. He yeah, want that he's steak. got that burger. And that McDonald's beans. Yeah. Come home and he want to lay in that, in that double mattress. You see, you're thinking of all of this when they're interrogating your ass. I don't know how many of y'all have yeah. ever been. When they interrogate, listen, I got interrogated even while I was in the military. These motherfuckers were sweating me. Listen, they was, they was talking about I was going to be playing basketball in a fucking, uh, in a, in a prison and fucking, um, uh, where's that shit they have in the military? They have a prison that's there. Um, <laughs> anyways, they were, they were telling me all this shit. You're going to go, you're going to play basketball there. You're going to fucking be, or you're never going to see the light of day. You're, you're, Ooh. you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. You know, of course, in my mind, I was like, God damn, I love those states. <laughs> God damn. All I, gotta do, all I gotta do is tell them two names. That's it. Ah. I didn't tell. And, and the reason why I didn't tell was due to the fact that, A, you know, you just don't do that. You just don't do that. Because in my in my book like this, it's like this. In my book, snitching is always snitching, citizen or criminal. But yeah. like we said, there's levels to snitching. Levels. I'm not snitching on my people, man. I'm not snitching on my people. I'm sorry. Now, yeah. only way that you won't get me to snitch on you being a civilian, right, um, would be if you did something to the family member. And even then, listen, I'm not going to snitch on you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my street fucking revenge yeah. on you. I'm yeah, not even gonna go because when you snitch, you end up like you said, when you snitch, yeah. here's the problem. The yeah. fucking organizations that's telling you to snitch will snitch on you. Everybody yeah. snitching. Everybody snitching. Yeah. snitching. The police officer, he damn sure gonna snitch on your ass. He gonna go run and tell the same motherfucker, hey, guess what? Your homeboy snitched on you. So you might as well go ahead and tell me yeah. everything. Because your homeboy yeah. told me every fucking thing already. Boom. Yeah. Now he already know you snitch. So what he gonna do? Oh, he snitched on me? Okay, well, I'm gonna... Uh, now everybody snitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But here's my question to y'all. Here's my question what to y'all. Because sometimes know? they lie just to try to... You know what I'm saying? Good cop, bad cop. Just to get yeah. you to tell you... Yeah, yeah your people go... This and that. And guess what you're gonna yeah. have? Like... You remember the um? Did y'all see the uh? The, remember how the police orchestrated that shit with the um with those kids? What was it? Central Park? Remember how they was telling them? Yeah, this kid was said he was the one, that. right? Yeah. So they organized that shit so that they could yeah. get everybody to start snitching on each other. That's the oldest yeah. trick in the fucking book. Forget about yeah. it. Yeah. But let me ask y'all this: What about oh. self snitching? What about Bobby Schmurda? I, I purposely tagged that song on on tracks, right? Because Bobby Schmurda is a stand up guy. But, okay, here's my thing. <laughs> here's my thing. I would be fucking pissed if I was Bobby Smurder's friend. This motherfucker says, yeah, um, Ghost had the 30 on him. He killed blah, blah, blah. On a rap song, he's, he's, <laughs> he's telling everybody's business. And no, then, yeah. and like, no, that's. That's then, just then they bad. go to court and they're like, I'm not telling on nobody. You told on everybody in the song. Yeah. Yeah. For me, yeah. I'm gonna be fucking yeah. that motherfucker, man. You fucking snitched yeah. on me, dude. That's just as bad. Yeah. 
They, they, cause people, I feel like in that way, if people don't think like they just trying to be like, cause I don't think he purposely did that, but I think he wasn't thinking like he probably thinking like, Oh, it's cool. Like, let me rap about this. Like, Hey, this is, you know, I'm spitting bars, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm showing like that. I got my hood dudes and my hood friends and I'm a hood Mm -hmm. guy myself. And I think he was trying to do it like that, but that goes back with like boasting and like bragging. That's just like drug Mm -hmm. dealers. Like, they say they go buy like fancy cars, like you yep. know, and this yeah. and that. So it's like clues to show, like okay, they got it. Yeah. And then the police get on them and stuff because it's like okay, now I'm boasting, yeah. I'm buying big chains and all that, but I don't got a job. Mm-hmm. So now right. the police is like, okay, we know something's up because they, yep. you know, they're doing this and that, but they don't have yeah. no job. So let's go on their trail. That's yep. the same way with him. I think he was like, let me rap about this. Like I'm, I'm showing like I, I'm, I know all the hood dudes and all that. Mm-hmm. They probably didn't even go to his mind. Oh, yeah, I'm he over here snitching on my, you know what I'm saying? Just like, uh, just like that young boy. Um, what was his name? He did the same thing. Well, a couple of them. Cause yeah, why? Belly, yeah, why belly? All of them. Yeah, all all What's the all other boy? Black, all the Chicago rappers. All them yeah. niggas do it. Oh, the you Florida guy about- too. I oh, forget yeah. his name. Wait, Kodak. No, no, no uh, why no, no. Melly or something? He's in there right, for right, killing right, his right. friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got yeah, one. Yeah. On the motherfucker yeah. even made a song about the shit. Murder on my mind. Yeah, exactly. and then that young boy, uh, what's the young boy's name? Like he's um Oh, yes. he did the race. He did yes, the race. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take A, take A, take A. Take A, there we go. Yeah, so, you know how so, so, like, uh-huh. I'm playing no, no, uh-huh. like, the whole case about um the Rico oh. case against the white shop. And they had like the whole session about including songs. And how they can use that in the coffee. I was like, the fuck yeah. the coffee exactly. to the talk. It's like, hey, I thought I'm buying him and maybe got paid to die. Come on, bro. You yeah. just snitch, stop snitching <laughs> and everything, bro. I'm going to be bragging about that. It's a big dish. Right. Y'all match, bro. Hey, I can <laughs> I got to introduce another guest that we got coming on. My brother from the pole, DB Good Fucking Green. What's up, brother? Yo, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on with you, man? What's up, brother? What up, Ghost? Uh, let me see. I can't, I can't. Hey, put the camera down a little bit, DB. I can't, we can't see your face. Unless you don't want your face on here. We only see half shot. We only can see from your, your beard down. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, man. So, so you know the topic that we on right now. We talking about. We're talking about um, we're talking about um, if snitching is is there a pass for snitching and why can some people do it and other people can't, man? So we already established that civilians shouldn't be uh, civilians can snitch all they want to because they're not held to no type of level. Is that true? Are they held to a level two? Should civilians not be snitching too? Because we all got motherfuckers at work that's gonna <laughs> snitch on your ass. When you come to work late, that motherfucker snitching, <laughs> right? That motherfucker snitching. So should these civilians get a pass to snitch on people, and or should is that the same shit as in the gang organizations and mob organizations where motherfuckers ain't supposed to snitch? Is that snitching still, or is there or they do they get a pass? I say a civilian motherfucker gets a pass because a civilian when we're we're you know. We're civilians now, right? We all know about the criminal worlds. Like I told them about my past criminal shit. You sign a waiver, right? You sign this, you sign this fucking, you, you basically sign an agreement that we doing this shit, we doing this criminal shit. And if any of us get caught, we're not supposed to tell them. Like, nobody's supposed right. to say a fucking word. Even right. if you facing time, even if you got whatever's going on, you keep your mouth shut, eat it, take the bullet and just get the fuck out and recover, right? But as a civilian, do you change your mindset on shit? Like, you know a motherfucker is is next door to you robbing motherfuckers. This motherfucker comes home every day. He just robbed. He just hit licks all over. <laughs> do you snitch on this motherfucker? Because cause he by your house, dude. He right next door to you. It's, it's, I feel like motherfucker might rob me next. I got to snitch on this nigga, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Do you snitch? Or do you not? I don't know. You know, maybe it may be in circumstances like that, you know, on a civilian level, you know, maybe on certain circumstances yeah. like that, you know, when you when when it's a 
a damn mass murderer involved, a, a motherfucking serial killer right. type shit, you know, uh, uh, serial serial burglar and shit, you know. So I I understand on a on a civilian well. level, uh, uh, you know, with a situation like that. But uh, also, I mm-hmm. don't. I, I feel like I feel like the the no snitching shit kind of apply on the civilian level, like. As far as mm-hmm. like you know, if some shit don't concern you, you know, if, if it's like, mm-hmm. if, if it's not like, if it's not affecting your immediate safety or well being, you know, uh, mm-hmm. so say for example, you feel me, like, hey, like, like what you what actually what you just began with, you know, you you is you say, um, you know. A coworker notices that another coworker is is running late or some shit, you know. So for that, mm-hmm. so for that one coworker to, to snitch on the other, you <laughs> feel me? I feel like I feel like it's like man, you, you you know, like what what's going on? You feel me? Like I think there should be yeah. a, a code of standard right there. You feel me? Yeah. I like I like how you phrase that, dude. Like, yo, like I, I I like that. It's it's a it's a if it's not causing you harm, that's gonna be one of the clips we going we gonna we gonna make sure that be one of them uh you know viral clips. If it's not fucking yeah. causing you harm, shut your mouth. <laughs> like, why are you snitching? That's on this right, because that's just like that's just <laughs> like the coworkers that come in like high or like a building right. you're not supposed to smoke, and then they like snitching and they try to like ah. Oh, she come in high or he come in high right. every day or oh, I'm smelling weed from the apartment. You don't need to be saying none of that because like you say, it's not harming you. Exactly. So it's like, so okay, it, you need to so tell. Is there, so is there a code of ethics within snitching? Because so so check it out, DB. You came in on the end of this part, but we we, we was already talking about like six nine, right? You take a six nine, right? So this guy, he he snitched, but the reasoning behind it, and this is why some people in the metaverse out here was giving this man a pass because they said, yo, he said, yeah, I fucking snitch because the organization that I was with no longer had loyalty to me. They fucked my baby mama. They set me up and I got robbed. So at this point, I'm snitching on these motherfuckers because they're not loyal to me. I said, you're in the criminal world. So when you sign that paperwork, you know, you already said that I'm not snitching on none of the brothers. Even if they do me dirty, even if they do something fucked up, this is criminal world. Had he been a civilian and these motherfuckers sent him up and robbed him and he can't do nothing back, you know, I might can see him saying like, yo, he took revenge that way because he don't got no street power to get him hit. He don't got nobody, you know what I'm saying? He can't get street revenge. So he told on these motherfuckers. That was his revenge. Civilian. I, I get that. But I feel like in the street sense of it, you're still snitching, dude. And that's not an alibi because you you because you got you yeah. loyal to you. You're snitching. I feel like you still you still snitch. And then he snitched on other people that didn't even have nothing to do with it. Cardi B and all these other motherfuckers. They have shit to do with it. They didn't cause you no harm. He still snitch. What do you think on that? Do you think he gets an alibi? Can you get an alibi if you get violated in your organization? And I, and for once, man, listen, I, a lot of that incidents in that situation where it's like somebody in the clique do some fucked up shit, right? And it's like, damn, dude, like I could fucking end this dude and just rat on all this shit. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get my get back another way. But do you, how do you feel about that? What, what do, is there, is it okay to snitch if there's, if you've been done wrong by your organization? Or should you still keep your mouth shut? Because that's like Sammy the Bull. Remember, you were with the mob shit, right? You know John Gotti. John Gotti was, Sammy the Bull was his right-hand man. He snitched on him because before the trial, John Gotti had disowned the motherfucker. Like, he he just was like, he wasn't taking care of him. So he felt like, oh, you gonna fuck me over? Well, then when I get on court, I'm pointing the finger at your ass. That's how he, that's why he's, same in this 6 9 situation. What do you think on that? Yeah, man, you know, it's, it, it's what you sign up for, you feel me? So it, it's more like, yeah. it's more like it's it's just sticking to the code, you know? It's simple as that, yeah. you feel me? It, it, it don't matter how to, it don't matter how to uh, cookie crumble, you feel me? You like, you, you got to keep your mouth shut, you feel me? Yeah, uh, no doubt. 
What about Gunner? What, what do you feel about Gunner? We had we established that he 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 did a fatal he did a fatal problem when he when he admitted that YSL was not a record label and that it was also a game. That was fatal, bro. That was that was heavy. Because now you giving these you're giving them you giving them the ammunition because they fucking know now this shit is not a record label. Motherfuckers is gang banging. They killing motherfuckers. <laughs> you admitted to this. He said his lawyer steered him wrong. He didn't know what he was doing. But they asked him the question, was YSL a record label or was it a game? And he admitted that there was a game. What do you feel about that? Is it snitching or not? Is that snitching? Uh-huh. What'd you call that snitching? It's, it's, I it's, call it fucking snitching. Bro. It's a, it's, he snitched. It's, inf it's informing. It's informing, man. I mean, you know, is it something... Yeah. Is this something that's going? Is this something that's going to get him booked right away? Like, you feel me? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I just, yeah. I, I guess I'm just thinking technically. You feel me? Like, I, I, I definitely, yeah. I definitely don't approve of that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as, as far as is we gonna call that snitching? Like, you know, they mm -hmm. they asking them, is it a record label or a gang? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, and he say it's a uh -huh. gang, like, like. Uh, like, is, is him is him saying is him saying that 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 record label is him saying that it's a gang? Is that finna? Is that finna? You know, cause people to go to jail? I think it's gonna cause people to stay in jail because because the whole case is built on saying that YSL is a gang. If you cannot yeah. if, if you cannot prove that they're a gang. Now you can say they were just doing this shit on their own. Like let's say, let's say I, I let's say, uh, let's say for example, Tony, right? Let's say Tony, a part of the YSL. Tony caught a body, but Tony caught the body due to the the hit from Young from Young Thug, right? The boss of the fucking YSL. So if I can say, if I can link that this was because of the boss, this was a gang hit. That that hit yeah. different than. He just murdered a motherfucker off of some personal shit. So I feel like when yeah. when Gunna admitted that that was a game, that's the ammunition they need. Because now they can say, yeah. yes, these motherfuckers ain't just making records. They not, because remember, all these rappers these days, and that's what we touching on next, all these fucking rappers nowadays, I would, and, and I want to touch on that back in the day, because remember we said back in the day, people talk about that they weren't snitching that much. They were they were snitching. The fans were snitching for sure. Frank Lucas, uh, N um, Nicky Barnes, all them hit honchos. What? Uh, what's my man off of Paid in Full that just got whacked not too long ago? Uh, Rick uh, Rico. Rico. Uh, I forget his real name though. Remember him? Uh, 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 he snitched. Alpo. It, there you go. There you go. Alpo. Alpo. All these dudes snitched on some. It might have not been their best friend. The niggas were snitching back then. But I'll tell you this, I feel like in the rap music, they weren't snitching out yet. I feel like niggas wasn't talking about killing nobody. They was talking about the war, the beef, but they weren't talking about like straight out whacking. Like look at all the Chicago rappers, right? All these niggas name drop every single time and every single person that they whack, whether it's on IG, whether it's on a fucking rap song, this generation is like, they, it's like their fuel is to, brag about the, the shit they got, the shit they did, which is essentially snitching. Right. It's like self-snitching. Right, right. It's like, it's like, it's like self-snitching because you're then, you're telling, even if you're telling yourself, now you finna get the whole organization indicted because yeah. look at, uh, look at fuck, uh, Smurder. He got everybody fucking. <laughs> hey, they'll, they'll, they'll get on the camera. Smarter, they'll, they'll get on the camera with the murder weapon. With the murder weapon, dude. <laughs> oh, what man. the fuck? Like, yo, if I'm a, if we, if yo, if we homies and you get on the camp, yo, you know what this remind me of too? Low key, remember Menace to Society? Remember when the nigga kept showing the tape? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he kept showing the tape. Yeah. Ah, oh, the fucking tape, dog. And he kept saying, "Yo, <laughs> put the tape away, dude." Like niggas want to brag about the shit. Then that's snitching, though. What about V-Lad interviews? What do y'all think about the interviews? 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, to, just, just, just to your last point, right? I didn't see motherfuckers outside and showing, showing the streets that they own. You know what I'm saying? I don't see oh, videos of motherfuckers outside showing the street that they on, G. Like, right before they finna do some shit. Going live. Going live. Yeah, on going live. Yo. Yeah, I was, like, Whoa, I was watching. Yeah. And even though it was a movie, like, the man, he was recording uh, the guys, like, running in the spot, like, um, you know, oh. to rob it. And yep. the boy was, like, recording. So the, oh. when the boy turned around and saw, even though they had on masks, like when the boy turned around and saw him like recording mm -hmm. like that, he mm -hmm. shot him and killed him. But he oh. was already on Facebook Live. You but see? it's like, you're not supposed to do that. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you- You commit the crime. Yeah. Why are you videoing it? Right. That's why shit. are you even talking about it? If you, if you, exactly. If you doing some shit. Why are you talking about it on the record? And if I'm your friend, I'm pissed because you just got yes. to- even yeah. young, even young thug, he even in the lyrics, they're talking about exactly what they did and exactly yeah. who they did it too. So it's not even hard for these cops, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I don't want to be a vacation. But the young TV, one time, we was good. You know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 They, they, they tell so, okay, so let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all another question. What about snitching on dead people? This this is sticky. This is and about Kef D. Uh-huh. And about Kef D, listen to say about listen to say that D was involved with the death of Tupac. And I'm like, so what happened now? So who was involved? So you know what you know what I think about that Where situation though, got, I got I got a different technical yeah. I got a, I got a different technical idea on that. And I'll tell you why. So so that's tricky. Here's the thing with that situation, right? So Keefy D allegedly Keefy D had already everybody in the streets knew already who did this shit, right? Who killed Tupac. Right? Mm -hmm. Everybody already knew. Yeah. So he didn't start talking about this shit until he got the proffer agreement about tell us every fucking thing. We already know what happened. And then it's dead. Yeah. We can't fuck. So the look, so I feel like the government pulled some bullshit with that with him. Like for them to be picking him up now, I don't even think this nigga going to get charged. Real talk. If he got a good lawyer, he's not going to get charged. Because if you think about it like this, the people that he ratted on is dead already anyway. He never said he did it. He said he was an accomplice, basically, right? right? So he saw all this shit going. I knew in my head what he was yeah. doing because I knew he's he keep on making sure that he put it on the dead niggas because you can't charge them no more. Yeah. But is that still snitching? I say, yeah, it's still snitching. But would I snitch on a dead motherfucker to lessen my time? Hell, motherfucker, yeah. 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 No nigga going to sit out here and tell me. No nigga going to tell me. <laughs> I don't care how street you is, nigga. You're not going to tell me that a, the fucking police pull you in the fucking interrogation room and say, listen, we going to get your ass life in fucking jail if you don't tell us who the fuck killed this nigga back in the fucking 80s. When did Tupac get killed? Back in what? The motherfucking, uh, goddamn, uh, right? 90s? 96. Yeah, like, like. Oh. You're not finna tell me I'm not finna snitch with these dead niggas, dog. I'm snitch. I don't care if he was my cousin. I don't care if he was my motherfucker. Yeah. That nigga dead. I'm snitching on his ass. Yeah, he did 15 of them motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm, he I'm, did. I'm snitching. Yeah, I'm snitching on dead niggas. I'm, def I'm definitely snitching on dead niggas. <laughs> oh, God. What's they gonna do? I bet you your dead homie or whoever's dead is sitting up wherever they at saying, yeah, fuck that shit. Take it. Yo, hey, put that shit on me, man. Don't do all the time. I would want my homies. I would want my homies to snitch on me if I was if I die. We hit a lick, I die. Go ahead, yeah, snitch on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you get a pass. That's what you get a pass. Real yeah. friends, real friends would want you to. What friend would be like, don't snitch on me, nigga? I'm <laughs> fuck. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit pissed me off with Birdman, yo. Like Birdman, that dude that was a real killer. What was his name? Um Baby, right? B 
Baden was a real killer. So this nigga gets out of jail and he, and he confesses that he snitched on a dead homie on to get out. Basically, they said, tell us that it was this dude. Because you got to remember this. See, people just talk this shit because they never been interrogated. I've been interrogated a lot of fucking times. So I know I know the press, the pressure that's on your ass, dog. Like, you, you got to understand. When you get when you get interrogated, you're trying to look for an easy way out. Even with a plea bargain, you're trying to look for an easy way out, right? So the only time I feel like you you fucked up is when me and you commit a crime together, and they asking me, "Did you do something?" I'm gonna say no because I, I don't know nothing. I'm gonna just say I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing because at this point they don't know you did it because they fucking asking me. If they knew you did it, nigga, you'll be in jail and they wouldn't even be asking me shit. But they, they don't fucking know. They need me to agree that you the one that did it. So I would not snitch then. But if if there is a case where you're interrogating me and you saying uh, something about a motherfucker that's dead or something about a motherfucker that's not even around no more, I'm snitching on that dude because that's going to clear both of us. You're dead. You're not going to do no time. I'm not going to do no fucking time because I'm alive. I don't want to do no fucking time. I'm out. So I feel like it's it's a pass. I feel like you do get a pass. For snitching on a dead fucking motherfucker. Yeah. I think that's what they did to clear up. If you look at the situation, like what happened. Yeah. Like, dude, like, how many bodies did Bro get up to eat that? I'm like, bro, people were talking to you. People were laughing at this nigga. Yeah. Bro? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the Vaughn situation, the Vaughn situation was more so of nobody really was snitching. He just. <laughs> He just got hit before he could hit. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the dude, that was, the dude that was on the other, side, yeah, yeah, that's you true. know, his homeboys was quicker on the draw than his homeboys because you know what I'm saying. You, they got, yeah. they got guys that's riding with them that's there to, to protect them. In other words, right? So if you're yeah, if you're yeah. fighting and you beating up my homie and my homie can't fight and I'm the shooter of the team, I'm the guy who's the shooter. Then I'm gonna shoot your ass. Like that's what the fuck's supposed to happen. So I feel like on his end, he just didn't have his homeboys didn't respond quick enough. You know what I'm saying? Because they probably was enjoying a fight. You know, probably was like, yeah, whoop his ass, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like he got caught slipping on that end due to not not reacting quick enough. And it's like the wild wild west. If you don't get to your gun quick, your ass is gone. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that one wasn't too much of snitching, but. But definitely, definitely Vaughn and all the rest of those dudes was snitching in their own music on who they killed. So had he not got killed, yeah. he would be in jail for sure. Because he already admitted to too many yeah. that he killed already. Yeah, yeah. That's what too I'm much talent. The bodies he touched. <laughs> too much yeah. talent, God damn it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, can self, you can self snitch. And when you self snitch, you actually bring heat on the whole crew, which is why they got the Ricos out now. The Ricos is to catch every motherfucker, Lami Dotty, everybody. So when you snitch on yourself, then now they're gonna start looking at who your friends is, who you organize with, and they're gonna start getting on their ass too. You know what I'm saying? But okay, so let me ask y'all a question on this. Let me ask y'all this. So, so y'all agree then for a dead person, it doesn't. It, it there's a pass for that. There's a pass on somebody. Yeah, homies. you get a pass on the dead niggas. On the dead homies. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So then, so then let me ask you this. So what makes it right and what makes it wrong as far as in the hip hop community? Because, and I say the hip hop, and you, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all on a deeper level. Do you feel like this snitching thing is only for the black community? We gonna get we gonna get sticky now. Now we gonna get sticky. Do we feel? Do you feel like this snitching shit was something made up for the culture and not for everybody? And I'll I'll, I'll say my thing first, and then y'all y'all tell me what y'all think. I feel like I feel like it is a cultural thing, right? Because other races, other nationalities, they will snitch in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you think about like the white community. Those motherfuckers gonna <laughs> those motherfuckers gonna snitch on you. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Uncle Bob was Uncle Bob was stealing money from the trust fund. He was stealing money from it. Yo, them niggas. Oh, God, dog. 
Yo, you know, they make you a snitch, dog. Yo, the Indians, the, 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 um, I'm out here in the Middle East, so y'all know I see all these different nationalities. Yo, these mm -hmm. niggas gonna snitch, dog. Look, you, they gonna snitch for, yo, you know, in the jails and the sit in the states and shit, they gonna give you like a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? They gonna try to get you some food, try to lighten you up in the interrogation room. Nah, 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 nah. Out here, mm -hmm. niggas, look, they don't even gotta get a burger. They ain't gotta get <laughs> shit. Them niggas just tell them, hey, you come into the police station. Who you want me to tell on? What do you want me to tell? I tell everything. <laughs> yo, yo, that nigga snitch on a heart. Yo, they snitch on a heartbeat. So I feel like it's a cultural thing. I feel like it's a cultural thing in the black community and Hispanic community. I feel like those two communities is big on this no snitching. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I feel like I feel like that's detrimental to the community too, because if you're not snitching about what's happening in your neighborhood, then your neighborhood never gonna get clean because nobody's snitching. But at the same time, if you do snitch, fucking mm -hmm. police will just tell the people that you snitched on. So I do see why, you know, we don't snitch in the neighborhoods also because you're just gonna get ratted out by the police and then you're gonna have mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. I think like, you know, I think like the no snitching is uh exclusive to like the the just the criminal, the criminal world. You feel me? Like, you know, yeah. it don't really matter like what color you is, you know, like if we, if we all, you feel me? If if, if we all on the same side, you know what I'm saying? Then it's, mm -hmm. it's just a code. You feel me? Yeah. Like we all, mm -hmm. we all signed up for this shit. It's, it's just a code. You know, so I don't, yeah. but you know, so I guess, to to what you saying, like, you know, no snitching in general. Like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like when it comes to like no snitching in general, I think black uh -huh. black people like more so kind of in, in, in endure that than other cultures. You feel me? Because yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess black. I guess black culture is looked at, black culture is looked at as criminal culture, I guess. You feel me? So I guess that, yeah. I guess that rule does apply in our culture because our culture is looked at as criminals and shit like that. I, I, yo, you hit it on the fucking nail with that, bro. Black culture, and, and listen, yeah. I hate to say this, man. You know, yo, I'm for the people all day and night, right? Like, I'm for the people, but. We also got to keep it up with with even definitely it is a black culture has become a criminal culture. And you think about it like this, right? We all got those yeah. family members. Some somebody has a, a a pervert family member that's in the family that they did not snitch on or that they did not take care of, you know, handle business with, right? Because of the notion that if you snitch. You know, you fucked up and all that. Can't be a snitch, blah, 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 right? So you even look even at the fact of what we call, you know, the culture about, you know, taking another nigga snitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just all of the pretty much mostly the negative shit that we have found on instead of making it more like, yo, it's a, it's a right and a wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yes, if you're in the criminal world, then you gotta abide by the criminal laws. But even the criminals don't abide by the fucking laws, right? They don't abide by those laws either because they, they can bend it and snitch on who they want to snitch and snitch on who they don't want to snitch on. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I feel like I feel like it's just... So, to ask the question, answer the question, in my opinion, is there a pass for snitching and why can some do it and some can't? I would say yes. There's a past snitching in the level of whether you're a civilian or whether you're a gangster. Like if you into this this criminal world, then you got to do what the criminals do. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a criminal world, you got to do that. But if you're not, if you're a civilian, you abide by different laws. That's what I feel. I feel like you you, you abide by different laws. Now, even as a criminal, do you get a pass for snitching? I would say no. As a criminal, I mean, okay, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. Get a pass to snitch on dead motherfucker. <laughs> it's very fucking dead.
you get a pass from somebody dead. But like the notion that you don't snitch, yeah, people, everybody's snitching in some type of way. They don't snitch. Yeah. Of- yeah, that's more onto the um black community. Um yeah, you know, because of course like that's that's where they try to link the highest like crime rates and you know what I'm saying and shootings and all that and stuff like that and gangs and stuff. So yeah, in the more like poverty as you want to say, areas and stuff like that, it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, they got the rules of this and that. Like I was watching some of the um uh shy, like the series The Shy. Oh, I love that series. And they yeah, and they big on that, like, you know, you're not supposed to say nothing and this and that. So yeah, yeah it is more targeted towards us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But hey, um hey, let you, let motherfucking hit, hit, um, the mute, hit the mute on yours. On hit mine? No, no, not on yours. On you. Yeah, there's a lot of back. Yeah, but you got some like white families, like they got well a lot. They got like serial killers and all that, and yeah. they their mom might know, the dad might know, but they'll cover it up. Like yeah. they, they they won't snitch either. That's basically like not snitching, yeah. you know. But they'll cover it up. Like they'll pay lawyers and they'll pay big time people to cover that shit up to make sure that they're child don't go to jail or you know that person don't go to jail or or they'll um hide the body or they'll kill the person you know to make yeah. sure that nothing is wrapped up in it so you got that way too yeah but the only difference with these other ones mm-hmm. i think is like with them when they find out or when they know normally and like you said that's a good point it's it's that's why i say it's these levels it's these it's yeah. these levels to it. When it becomes like family and shit, nobody's snitching on their family unless they just a shit bag. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's true. But it also depends on like what you do though. Because like, hey, if I got, if I would have a family member like they um say like a pedophile or something like that or they touch like a little uh nine-year-old, seven-year-old uh, child, yeah. hell yeah, I'm, I'm not writing with them. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm snitching on their ass, you know? So, so it, like you say, it's levels. So let me ask you this. Why is it that in the culture, in our culture, right, we have a lot of times where if somebody commits a crime or somebody's fucked up, everybody still, like, has a lot of people still come out and support them. Like, say, like, let, let's take, for example, like, in the rap community, let's, let's take our, let, let's take the fallen comrade Vaughn, right? Do was, do was, do was technically yeah. like a serial killer. <laughs> or not a serial killer, I'm sorry. Yeah. Technically like a murderer, right? So if we're going off of the laws of like a murder, why is anybody's why is anybody affected by the fact that he was killed? You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. It, it's like like it's like to me, it's like to me in the culture, man, we get caught up too much on the clout of the of the individual because yeah. it, instead of the facts of what they did. You know what I mean? Like you can still celebrate a person, but once they jump off the ledge, you gotta kinda Pull back a little bit, you know. What I mean? Yeah, I feel, like, I feel yeah. like we'll still support, we'll still support negativity more so than anybody I've ever seen. I, I've I've never seen like if somebody is shooting right. up people in the neighborhood, I don't see them really. I don't see them being celebrated by other cultures. You know what I'm saying? Like the motherfuckers outcast them at that point. You know. And that's yeah. that's what you see the black like, culture. You see somebody like cotton body. And everybody yeah. going like, yo, free bro, free your chill is back. I'm like, bro, what are you doing, gang? Get me right. out of bodies. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 just got out. You know, woo, woo, he just got out and he just killed 10 motherfuckers. He's like, free this dude. Why? Right. That's what I don't agree with. They're going to come out and kill 10 more. What, what are you talking about? Get this nigga some help. That's what the church should be saying. Get this nigga to a, some mental, you know what I'm saying? Get this nigga therapy. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. This, yeah. This nigga, some motherfucker. The T-shirt is still free. Free, blah blah blah. The motherfucker should say, "Get some therapy, yeah. nigga." This nigga, <laughs> nigga got. A <laughs> this nigga got a. Exactly. But we embrace it. Man. We embrace that hey. for the culture, and I think that's what fucked up our mind with 
with that's how you can tell the difference between like um the 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 the, the moral compass and the culture compass of like what's cool and what's not you know what i'm saying like it, I think that's where we get caught up at, and and that's probably why we have the the it. But the other day, listen, everybody's doing dirt in their culture. I don't care about them doing the dirt though, because it ain't my culture. So I don't really know what they do, and I don't care. But I will say this: when they do find out that it's a person killing people in the neighborhood, I don't think it's as many people advocating for them. I think only their family is advocating. for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you take like a Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm. Motherfuckers wasn't saying free Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer, like, in that neighborhood. <laughs> but these weird people, like, weirdo mm. motherfuckers. But, like, normal people did not want this nigga on the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers want this dude locked but up. But when he got in jail, mm. did you see, like, all those, like, letters and stuff he got? Yeah, And yeah, then I they saw. say, like, he, they was putting money, like, on his books mm. and everything. Mm. Like, he yeah, was, all he those was killers. gaining weight. All those- yeah, Ted Bundy. Yeah. But you know what? That's the only people that like those people are not the big community. Those are sick individuals who are yeah. probably who are probably need mental help, more mental help than those motherfuckers. Because if you're attracted to a dude in the dicks of other people, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> and, and that's another segment. It's another segment because when that Jeffrey Dahmer shit came out, that TV series, people yeah. was crying when this guy got killed at the end. I already know Jeffrey Dahmer. If you're from Chicago, we know Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, nigga, of course. This nigga was getting bodies from, from Chicago. He was catching from Chicago and Milwaukee. Right. But, he was in Milwaukee. But, yeah, he was in Milwaukee, but he, he caught a couple Chicago bodies. He was coming to Chicago, taking dudes back there to Milwaukee from Chicago. But yeah, yeah. but the thing, with, the thing with him is people was actually sad when this dude got killed at the end. When he got a taste of his own medicine, people was crying and sad that he got fucking killed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Nah, that's crazy. That's fucking mental shit, dude. That's mental health. You gotta be a sick motherfucker to want this dude to not get killed after he got yeah. he didn't sawed off they sawed off their hands and shit. And you want this nigga to live? Right. Oh man. Yeah, man. Let go of having a cookout and having male on top of black people. And bro, yeah. yeah. My brother's like, oh, he, he got killed at the end of the series. Oh, my God. Why did they kill him? You know, but you didn't have no type of, you didn't feel nothing about the dude that was deaf, that he was just sawing this motherfucker up in half. Right. But, uh, no. yeah, man, we going to wrap this one up. We over, we, we getting over in an hour. I think we hit the main points. I think we tackled that there is a pass when it comes to snitching. Um, even though yeah. a lot of people don't want to admit it, yeah. there's a pass. There's a yeah. pass in the civilian world. And I like I like I like what each one of y'all said in y'all's categories. You know, when you hit um K Boogie, when you said there's levels to it, on the yeah. that hit it on the nail. B dot, when you yeah. touch the fact that, you know, these people will say this and the, the street culture provides this kind of like nest for you to say that you're not going to snitch, but then they still snitch. Absolutely. Right. And he be hit it on a fucking nail with the thing about that, you know, you have to, there's, there's and it's almost like that there's levels, but there's, there's this, there's, um, mind there's your guy, business and, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. There's, there's yeah. guidelines. There's guidelines. Right. To, <laughs> mind a, your a fucking business. <laughs> there's a code of ethics, man. It's a code. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's a code of ethics yeah. to snitch. <laughs> yeah. The code of ethics, man. If it ain't code of ethics, if, man. If it ain't, if it ain't, ain't, if it ain't affecting your immediate safety, man. If it ain't affecting right. your immediate safety or your family's immediate safety, shut your mouth, man. Yeah. That's a hard. Man, that's a hundred percent, man. Listen, listen. I appreciate yes. y'all coming in on this, man. This was this was a good topic. Mm-hmm. This was great. Um, oh, oh what's up? Uh, we got Ali over here. What's up? What's up? Hey, um, yeah. Make sure y'all tune in on YouTube. We are gonna put this episode up on YouTube here in a few. Um, but yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Listen, this was good. 
we got some more juicy topics to tackle. Um, we we covered about the snitching um, and self snitching. We covered on that. A lot of y'all young motherfuckers, man, y'all got a lot to learn, man. Don't get mad when your ass is doing jail time. The fucking song telling the fucking police exactly who the fuck you killed and who your homeboys killed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you don't have to brag about everything. We get it. You're a gangster. We get it. You're a killer. We get it. We we were. We respect it. We not looking to. We don't. We, we get it. You had your wars. You won those wars. But well, motherfucker, do you have to tell the name of the motherfucker who did? <laughs> do you got to stand on the street that you did it at? Like, do you got to do that? With the, with the murder, don't we forget gotta, the murder weapon. With the, with the fucking murder weapon. Like, listen, we got a lot of young followers out there. Listen, we not judging y'all. I, I don't. I, I like to be one of those older guys that's like more of a mentor and not like a judgmental guy. Right, but I, I gotta say this. Come on, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, don't get mad when you're on when you catch a Rico, when you catch a case, and you're fighting for your freedom because you made numerous songs about real shit that happened. Not fake shit. Listen, it's okay to make a fake story. It's okay. It's okay to make a story that's fake that might be about what you did, but it's fake. And it don't have nobody that they can put it back on. <laughs> like right, it's right. okay to make a you don't have to prove hey. everything. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you say ghost, you. ghost, you say we're, yeah. we're keeping it real goes wrong. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Yo, you don't got to get rid of the fact that you're trying to prove every single thing and how you did it, where you did it. Listen. Yo, you got enough targets on your back on some real shit. Y'all got, we got enough targets on our back being black. We got enough targets on our back. You don't need to put the 50 yard dashes all on you now because you out here telling about exactly what you did. It does not bump your street credit up no more. Cause listen, there's people that don't give a fuck about your street cred. They still gonna respect you, my dude. They still gonna respect you. If they fuck with your music, they gonna rock with you. If they fuck with you as a person, they gonna rock with you. You don't gotta. You don't have to use that mm -hmm. negative thing. And I know what it is. It's a mental thing because this era is the era of prove. That's what I call this era. They want to prove shit because you know people are coming out. And you know who's coming out that's making y'all prove it? It's not other street niggas that want that needs you that needs this approval. You know who it is? Some rich dude sitting on his laptop at home. Some little yeah. fucking college kid. Some high school kid sitting on his thing saying, "Oh shit." Did, did, did he really do that? He said he got 10 bodies. Did he really get 10 bodies? This nigga is a nerd. You're proving yeah. this shit to a nerd because real street motherfuckers don't give a fuck about what you did. It's about what you're doing now, nigga. Like, okay, you caught those. What are you doing now? What the fuck are you doing now, my nigga? Like, I don't care about who you killed. I don't yeah. give a fuck about none of that because everybody's a killer when they need to be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a killer when they need to be. Everybody's a killer when they need to be. Right. Niggas gonna kill when they need to be. Somebody break into your fucking house and, and, and put your life at stake, you gonna kill that motherfucker. I guarantee you. It's to be killed or to or or to kill. Niggas gonna yeah. kill. So we I, don't need the proof that you kill nobody. That gangster shit, you know what I'm saying? You, you, your, your gangster really is determined by how you move, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. How you handle yourself in certain situations. Like it's like you just said, you feel me? Everybody gonna kill. Killing, killing is an instinct. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody going, mm -hmm. everybody going to kill when when the time is right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But uh, you feel me that how, how, you know your like I said your gangster really determined by like you feel me your your code of ethics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I, I, I so, don't, yo, see, we I don't see a lot of good code of ethic, man. I don't see a lot of good. I don't see a lot of ethic around this motherfucker, man, nowadays. I, I, I want yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, 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 even with the respecting of the dead, man. Like, you know, you know, in our time frame, you know, coming up, and I know, like, you know, a lot of old motherfuckers, like, yo, back in the day and all this shit. But, yo, it, it is like that, though. Errors, every error has the proper way and the improper way to do shit. Every error had it. The old school motherfuckers had a proper way, and a non-proper way, right? Frank Lucas stood up. He, he was never in the light until he wore the fucking, uh, the, the, the mink shit, right? The fucking coat. He, he, and then, you know what? And it's not even just that. 
if you think about it, this nigga had front row seats at the boxing match, right? He had the front row fucking seats. So even if he didn't wear the fucking coat, the nigga had front row seats. Whenever you're starting to do something out of the norm, niggas is gonna pay attention to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 the the whole matter of the fact is like DB hit on as well, how you move. How you fucking move determines how gangster you are. Because you can't be if you study getting caught up and start getting caught, nigga, you need to change occupations, my nigga. You need to change occupations, dude. You need to go to fucking uh, work at a get a nine to five, my dude. <laughs> that street shit, you go back to college. Oh, look, yeah, look, so look at the serial killers. Jeffrey Dahmer had how many bodies before that nigga got caught? That nigga had like fucking thirty bodies. Well, well, okay. Goddamn, uh, John Wayne Gacy, nigga had forty five bodies up under his bed. Like real niggas that's doing that, their criminal shit are not getting caught as much as y'all niggas is getting caught. Y'all niggas getting caught left or right. Change occupations. It's okay. That one ain't working. Change occupation. You ain't supposed to get caught that many fucking times. But listen, we're going to wrap this shit up. I appreciate y'all coming on. We're going to do this again next Sunday. I got an even more juicier one. We're going to get into some, we, like I told y'all, it's going to go up and down. We're going to have, we're going to have some fun topics and then we're going to have some, some real positive, sticky situations. But I think I want to do. I think I want to do a Will Smith and Jada. I think I want to do a. Will Smith and Jada. Yo, that's <laughs> Poor Will Smith, man. This man, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck did this happen, bro? Yeah, that's, He's yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Fresh Prince, bro. I'm still on the show. He's fighting with a dead man. He can't beat. You can't beat the dead. And he has to continue to fight against a dead man. Rest in peace to Tupac. Rest in peace to Pac, man. That's that. That's that boy. But mm. the Tupac, yeah, you got I'd rather him over Will Smith as well. So you got a man fresh out here. Better off. You know what I'm saying? I saw a meme. I'm gonna close it on this. I saw a meme that was funny as hell. It said Will Smith don't even want to kill uh, Jada Pickett because she'll just be wherever Tupac is. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. If you kill this motherfucker, she's still gonna get what she wants. You can't fight a dead man. He's like, you, know you, can't, you can't battle with that. You can't compete with that shit, man. Well, I think we, we 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 might do that one next. We'll do a Will Smith, Jada Pickett analysis. Who you think who you think of winning a fight? Who you think of winning a fight between Will Smith and Tupac? <laughs> Will Smith. Will Smith. Yeah, you know why? You think so? Yeah, think Will Smith. So Tupac, bro. He got Tupac all the way. Tupac. Yeah. Why, why you say Tupac? Look, look. Tupac. Because Tupac, Tupac yeah. is definitely more gangster than Will Smith. But Will Smith would beat yeah. Tupac ass, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you know, you know so. hey, facts. And you know what? I'll, and you know what? DP also boogie. You know what I'll say on that? Tupac. I would say Tupac. Was more gangster because of who he was with. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop some sticky. That's true. Shit. I'm gonna drop some sticky shit on you. Remember, That's this true. was this nigga was backup dancing mm -hmm. with underground with digital underground doing a humpy yeah. hump. No, I know he, he, was, was, he was. He Will was. Smith he was been been ballet and all that. Yeah. Will Smith he was been fresh been prince for a long time. Mm -hmm. Will Smith been fresh prince for a long time. I think Tupac just got around. Those, you know, he got around some gangster. So it wear on you. When you hanging around gangsters, that shit wear on you. But Will Smith is I don't think so. I Will, think I think he Will was Smith really like money. You think he was really gangster like that? I think he yeah, I, I think, think so. I think I, I, I think he was yeah. I think he was a hood nigga. See there's and we you know what? That might be the next topic too. What's the difference between, <laughs> what's the difference between hood and gangster? Because yeah. those are those are two different things. Right. Those are two different things. Yeah, right. that's true. Tupac was hood. He was a hood nigga. Yeah. He keeps some shit going on. He gonna stand up for it. But gangster, yeah. no. Uh, but yeah. but Will Smith. The reason why I say Will Smith will whoop Tupac's ass. A, he has more training. Remember, Will Smith is was fucking I am legend. Will Smith has played Muhammad Ali, dude. He learned how to box. This nigga would tear Tupac to smithereens. And I think even in height, I think Will Smith is like fucking. A six footer, dude. 
What? I'm sorry. He's definitely tall. I won't that don't mean nothing. Did you see that slap to Chris Rock? That nigga said. <laughs> but that shows right there because why he's smacking when he could have punched him. Like, see, if Tupac would have did it, he would have punched his ass. No, no, you know what? You know what? Tupac, Tupac would have came up there with a crowd of niggas, I think. I don't think. Oh, Tupac, my gosh. Tupac would have had a crowd of niggas. <laughs> Bro well, Smith, Bro Smith, Smith came from the fucking yo. He came from the ground up. Did you see the walk off? The walk off was like, yeah, nigga, about it. Ah, yeah. uh, he the knew walk- who to do it to. He got the right one. The walk off after he slapped. Yo, he didn't even need to punch the nigga. He slapped him. That's how he knew. Yeah. <laughs> and walk, and walk off. I sat back down like. <laughs> Bro, and then all of the anger that he has against Pot too, I think that will give him the edge too, because you know he just he's jealous. You know he got jealous. He, 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 he just, Jada Pickett is in love with him dude still. So I think that would even feel him even more to beat the shit out of Pot. Just so that Jada yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, we gonna do it. We gonna do another. We gonna do another one. We gonna do another segment, y'all. I appreciate y'all being on here, man. It was a pleasure. Wow. Oh. <laughs> pleasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a pleasure having y'all on, and we are gonna do this shit next week, and it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think of what we gonna come up with out of those two. I talk to y'all offline, and we'll come up with what we want to do for the next one. But we got some heavy ones. Cause I also want to get into I want to get into the hood gangster. I want to I want to I want to make the definitions of those two. I want to get into yeah, that's, that's um, good. yeah. I want to yeah. get into uh, some. Uh, I want to see what y'all feel about. Um, we gonna touch on some religious stuff too. Um, because you know uh, I want to I want to get into this Jews and uh, what's mm-hmm. going on right now, like some current events and shit that's going on, and touch base. See what y'all feel on that. Yeah. Um, so we got some heavy shit, man. Y'all stay tuned. Everybody that was out there on the IG, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm gonna have this up on the book. I'm gonna have this up on the YouTube. And next week we're going at it again. I appreciate y'all. It was a pleasure. All right. Let's get it. Powered by Riverside FM. All right. <laughs>